the burden of Moab, because in the night Ar of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence, because in the night Kur of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence, he has gone up to Bajith and to Dibon, and the high places to weep. Moab shall howl over Nebo and over Medaba. On all their heads shall be baldness, and every beard cut off. In their streets they shall gird themselves with sackcloth. On the tops of their houses and in their streets every one shall howl, weeping abundantly. And Heshbon shall cry. And Elayla, their voice shall be heard even unto Jahaz. Therefore the armed soldiers of Moab shall cry out. His life shall be grievous unto him. My heart shall cry out for Moab. His fugitives shall flee unto Zoar and Heifer of three years old. For by the mounting up of Luhith with weeping shall they go it up for in the way of Horanium they shall raise up a cry of destruction for the waters of Nimrim shall be desolate for the hay is withered away the grass felleth there is no green thing therefore the abundance they have gotten and that which they have laid up shall they carry away to the brook of the willows for the cry is gone round about the borders of Moab and the howling thereof unto Aglam, and the howling thereof unto Beer Elam. For the waters of Diamond shall be full of blood, and I will bring more upon Diamond lions upon him that escapeth of Moab, and upon the remnant of the land.